All right, so coordination complexes, some of them can have isomers. They can have geometric isomers, and geometric isomers can have vastly different properties. And if you're interested in biochemistry, this is something that you'll be interested in because um, it's, this can be very important in biological systems. So let me tell you about a coordination complex that has platinum at the center. It has two uh, ammonia ligands and two chloride ligands. And it has two ways that you can do it. So you can either put the ammonia ligands on uh, different sides, or you can put them on the same side. So here we have two uh, nitrogen ligands over here, and I have, I have these here. So on one side, you have the two uh, nitrogen ligands. On the other side, two chlorides. Or we can have a, a trans arrangement where they're across from each other. So you see there's two different ways to do it on the same side or sort of across. So cis or trans. Cisplatinum is a potent anti-cancer drug. Transplatinum has no use that anyone's been able to de detect. So it's the exact same composition, but a different arrangement of the atoms coordinated to the central metal. So why should it make a difference? You have the same ingredients. Why should one be a potent uh, anti-cancer drug and the other one be useless? Well, that's, it's because of how it interacts uh, in the body. And so one of the uh, people who has spent a lot of their career studying cisplatinum is uh, Professor Steve Lippard, who's in the chemistry department here. And he has uh, determined uh, x-ray structures looking at this and done a number of other studies. And so here's a little cartoon of cisplatinum uh, bound to DNA. So the chlorides are displaced when it binds. And so they need to be on the same side. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And when cisplatinum um, binds uh, to DNA, then uh, this, this will act to kill uh, the cancer cells. So the chlorides both need to be on the same side so it can bind DNA. If they're on other sides, that's not going to interact with DNA, and so it doesn't have any known function. So geometric isomers, same, same uh, composition, but in different arrangements can have vastly different properties. So you can have what are called uh, optical isomers or enantiomers. And so these can be our mirror images of each other, but they're not superimposable. And so when you have a mirror image like this, it's called a chiral uh, molecule. And this is a term that you'll hear a lot when you take organic chemistry. So I have uh, two mirror images up here. So these are mirror images. So the mirror plane is between these molecules. But these molecules may look the same in the mirror, but they're non-superimposable. So they are, in fact, different, uh, different molecules. And they can have different properties in a chiral environment. Well, what do I mean by chiral environment? Well, the human body, for example, is a chiral environment. So that's why a lot of drugs, people are, 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 are wanting to make just one enantiomer of the drug and not the other. One enantiomer can have good properties. The other one may not. All right, so let's, uh, let's do some de-electron counting. This is the final thing we need to talk about in coordination uh, complexes.